My name is Caitlin McMullen and I'm an independent researcher in Bologna Amputee. I've been working with Sarah Wilkes, who is a researcher at the Institute of Making on the project Sensory Prosthetics. The project was initiated by my experience of phantom limb sensation through touch, which got us thinking about people's sensory preference with their prosthetic limbs and how we could use the materials library to explore this. How my prosthetic look? Can I see myself? I don't know what it's made of. I don't know what particular material it is, but it uh, seems to be like a colour. Do you want to see it? It's very thin, very lightweight, and it's very, very solid. The socket is carbon fibre. It feels almost like wood, and it's got quite a sticky feel. It's got a, um, a spring in the heel, so it enables me to jump about and do judo. It can take like 50 stone, there's a shock absorber, it's carbon fibre. This is probably the most advanced leg I've ever had. Well, I chose an all black one so that it would go with anything. <laughs> My prosthetic is so kind of mechanical and then it's got this like fake foot at the end. It's quite a contradiction, but I think it works well. I think it's not having more, a lot of impacting the clothes, but have impacting the shoes. It's my body. And sometimes I think that people perceive like, oh, this is something very hard or very strong. And for me, it's very simple. Well, it's a lifelong companion now, isn't it? <laughs> it's over half my life now I've been wearing one, so you, you get attached to them. <laughs> the limbs th that you see from way back in the 1960s and 70s were largely metal and leather, and they looked quite cumbersome devices. The fitting of them required sometimes shoulder straps or all sorts of additional mechanism. And the modern materials that are used that have greatly made the prosthetic lighter to wear, I guess, as well as more functional. I feel as though I've had no real options when it comes to materials and prosthetics. It was just, OK, you have to take this. And this was a foam exterior with a silicon outside that was supposed to resemble skin. Becoming an amputee and the only option feeling as though I was trying to replicate what I'd had before and it felt so far from being that. It felt uncanny for myself and my own body. I've got a silicon sock that I have to wear for comfort, but when I pick it up in my hand, it gives me phantom sensation in my foot, which is horrible. I have to find myself, if, if I'm in the gym, taking it off, wiping it, putting it back on, because it tends to slip a bit. For me, it's the thermal properties that are the most important. When I pick up my prosthetic in the morning, it being so cold, it makes me reject it. It makes me not want to put it on. Coming from a background in jewellery design, materials have always been really important to me. Style is important to me. What I wear is important to me. And I do like my prosthetic to work with my outfit. <laughs> For me, my leg never looked the same as my other one, so I don't see the point in trying to mimic something that I never had. I, I couldn't care how it looks, cosmetically. For me, it's about function. So I want it to work. If I get a limb that's quite comfy and worn in a bit, it, it feels better. You want something that's going to be soft to touch. I get phantom limb pain all the time. It just ranges on different scales. And when I was touching different materials, some were very comforting, and then there were other materials that I didn't even pick up, I just looked at. My toes would be going like this, like almost on alert. But a hard foam, I thought that would be feel really nice inside the socket. It would give it that extra cushioning. I was quite drawn to anything that felt quite soft and smooth. I like the natural products, the, the woods and some of the leather. I think when you are an amputee, you just go with the root of least resistance. I, I had never even considered materials and grass my leg. I would just kind of accept the options I was given by the doctors if there was options. But I think it'd be interesting to look at wooden materials, um, more organic materials, I have multiple legs for different things. I know the materials of my prosthetics very well, but I think I've always thought of them negatively. And I think that is because it feels as though I've not chosen them. Like they have very much been 
placed onto me. I already felt as a young woman as though my body was constantly under scrutiny. But to have that objectification flip into a gaze that was so different and did often come with pity, not letting that affect me so much is a huge thing. It is me, but I think it would be nice to have other options of me. Sometimes I don't like to think about it because it, it plays into my sense of gender and my sense of self. So I can't wear high heels, I can't wear anything above the ankle. Being a woman, there is an idea of what you should look like and what your body should look like. And I, yes, my body doesn't fit into that. <laughs> Sometimes I think that maybe it would be a bit easier wearing a prosthetic if I was a man. Um, I don't think I would be looked at in the same way. Whereas as a woman, it's like, oh, poor you. It's, there's just no part of my character that feels as though it's involved in the materials that make up my prosthetics. And I wear them every day. So to have some choice would feel very liberating. It would feel as though my prosthetics were becoming a part of my personhood. Having the input into it, it means it's a part of you going in before the process starts. So it's like almost something you've grown yourself or nurtured or can see the process of it. I think looking more into design of prosthetics, like doing more research into it, has really helped me. I've worked on quite a few projects now to do with prosthetic design, and that really helped me for wearing it. It made me feel a lot more comfortable and a lot more like I was involved. I think it was just really exciting and liberating to think of the multiple possibilities that my leg could be in terms of what I could do, what I could look like. I would love to be able to shift really to purely viewing my prosthetics as an accessory as something that I could alter to go with an outfit, go with a feeling, go with a movement, and also go with a practicality. Design definitely, psychologically, it does make a difference. It actually made me feel a bit better, um, better about it.